You're listening to the Getting Salty Experience Podcast. And away we go. We are back. We are back at the Firehouse Kitchen table. Welcome to the Getting Experience. Get an experience. Yeah, get an experience salty podcast. How you like that? <laughs> get salty experience podcast. The only one that brings the fire. I haven't even been drinking yet. Coffee. Brings the firehouse kitchen table to you. We got a little vent this corner tonight. I like it. I love tinkering. I love uh, I love the ingenuity of the brothers. As always, you got my boy Ruffy here with a little what hookup. Up, what do you got? A hookup and look up? Hook up and look Wearing up. Wearing a little yeah. hookup and look up. Nice. Boom. We got we got Pete. What do you got? Your old thing box? I got the old lady's box on. You know what I mean? The T-shirt. Funny. I, had you your, I had your old lady's box last night on. Oh! <laughs> on, you don't see that, that beach ball flowing that beach ball up? Man. Man. Mama mia. All right. Mama mia. So we have a, a, a really cool dude on tonight from Madison. Really cool. Uh, Wisconsin. He is a firefighter in Madison. He has a tool company where he's innovated – the most basic firefighter tool of all time, the Halligan. He's done a couple little twists and turns on it, and I actually like it, but we're going to put him through the mill and see if it stands up to the Getting Salty Experience brothers. And you, any of you guys in the chat, don't be afraid to ask some questions. If, you wanna, if, you, if you're that adamant about your questions, always hit the Super Chat if you want. You know what I'm saying, right? Yep. Super Chat. All right, so let's bring in our man, our boy, our guy right here. He's uh, friends with Bob Farrell. Uh, he does business with Bob Farrell. It's almost like some kind of – I don't really understand the dynamics of it. I think Bob makes it for him, or you, he, they use a part of Bob's tools or his manufacturer. We'll have to bring him in. Without further ado, Joey Gangler. Do, 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 do. Hey, there we go. Yes. What's up, Side. dude? Up, Joe. Joey Gangler from Side. First, I got to ask you where you got the name Side Charlie Custom Fire Tools from. Say that five times fast. Side Charlie Custom Fire Tools. 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 Easy, easy. Well, your internet can't keep up with you, bro. Unfortunately. Hey, coffee's kicking in. Uh, yeah, so it kind of just came about as, uh, so, you know, backside of the buildings typically have those fortified doors. So. We thought, you know, our tool is, is great at that, at um, getting those outward swinging commercial doors. So that's kind of how Side Charlie came about. I guess I don't think you guys use uh, Alpha ABC. Props. Yeah, yeah, we don't yeah, use ABC. No, doesn't translate, but that's how that kind of started. Oh, now I'm picking it up. Side Charlie as Seaside. Oh, ABC. Man. Seaside. Charlie. Carlos is teaching you to do the Mamba. Charlie. The Charlie Delta side Charlie custom fire. Oh, I like Christ. it. Look at that. Who did I say? I'm sorry. <laughs> Look I'm at Joe's like face. Rambling about what have I gotten myself into? So you started volunteering with your brother out in Wisconsin, right? You're from Wisconsin, born and bred, grew up in Wisconsin. You moved to Fairfax County Fire, and you guys became paid firemen on the job in Fairfax, where you met the snapper. Right? Am I correct yeah, so yeah. far, Joe? Just say if I'm wrong. Right, right, right. So he, your brother's still there. Older brother, younger brother? Uh, older brother. So he's three years older than me. And uh, my dad was also a firefighter. Um, he started in 87. So 1987, he started on Madison Fire. So that's kind of how we got exposed to it. Okay, so he started 87 to 2015. Your brother stayed over there in Fairfax. You came back. Got on the job in Madison. What year did you get on to Madison, bro? Uh, 2016. So I did a just just shy of three years oh. out there. Had a really good time. So, so you just bop. missed your dad. He's yeah, I just missed him. I never got to work with him directly, so that was a bummer. But um, got to do some ride-alongs with him. That's kind of where I got the itch to to do the firefighting gig. Right. And, um, so was kind he of, uh, an officer, or is he just a firefighter in Wisconsin, in uh, Madison? Uh, no, he finished riding backwards, so that was his his deal. He kind of wanted to be in the action, and Good he, for him. Uh, he liked riding backwards. I like that. I kind of get uh, a little bit of college sickness riding backwards, but that's just me. That's why I like sitting in the front. <laughs> <laughs> Batman. Yep. 
<laughs> That's why I'm Batman and Ruffy's Ruf is uh, Robin. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right, so how, how'd you first come up? Let's talk about the Halligan a little bit. Let's give a little background on the Halligan. I told PD we were going to do this a little bit, so we'll segue with a little background on the Halligan. Of course, everybody knows, created by Hugh Halligan in the late 40s. Uh, was the present day uh, the predecessor to it was the Kelly tool, right, Pete? Well, there's how right yeah, there. Here, here's here's the here's the Kelly tool right here. Pretty nice, but pretty simple. Heavy and uh, a lot of injuries sustained trying to use the Kelly tool for more of red arm shoulder injuries from the Kelly tool, or they use the claw, or as my wife might say, the craw. They use the claw tool. <laughs> she would not say she that. Would she would not she say hope? that. Is right. She would say it. She heard, <laughs> you, better, you see a flying by. <laughs> better look off over your shoulder because the shoe's gonna come slap you right inside yeah. side of your head, dude. Yeah, Asian, they get a the Chinese star in my forehead. But, ah! So the claw or the Kelly tool, and then Hugh Halligan invented the Halligan, of course. And originally it was, uh, I believe, about 30 inches long, weighed about eight, between eight and nine pounds. And that, to, to this day, is the greatest forcible entry tool up until now we're going to put my man Joe Gangler on the spot here because he said that he has an improvement on the Halligan. So without further ado, we're going to let Joe talk. And uh, say how he's improved upon this awesome tool created by ha Halligan, Hugh Halligan. Give it to us. Give us the straight, straight skinny, how you started, where the first uh, seed was planted, the idea started, and how you went about bringing it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, when I first got assigned out in Fairfax, I got assigned to um, Station 25. It was a really good house. Um, and just super green, you know, just – just didn't know what I didn't know yet, but um, I was really fortunate to have some um, really good mentors. But one of them, uh, Chris Puzangaro, I hope he's listening with, but uh, he kind of, he, uh, he was teaching me stuff. I didn't even know he was teaching me, but he was the kind of guy that 9 or 10 p.m. at the firehouse, he'd put all his turnouts on and he said, uh, let's go force the door. And I'm thinking, geez, man, I, I just did all the station chores all day. I'm exhausted. We've been running calls and he's buttoned up with his hood on and helmet cinched down. And he's like, let's go force the door. Um, so he was just incredible looking back on it. And he really kind of lit the fire um, with the forcible entry stuff. And then fast forward, um, eventually started riding the truck a little bit out there. And I was carrying the uh, six foot hook and the Halligan made it. And pretty much just staying exterior, uh, working with the chauffeur, and then the senior firefighter would be in searching with the boss. Um, so that was when I kind of I thought of those two tools together. And I thought, man, wouldn't this be great if we could kind of combine them together? So uh, the vent tool actually that we we offer was the, the combination of that. But I didn't want a tool that was just big or just small. Um, so. We, we wanted it to expand and contract uh, when you need it. So when you wanted that leverage or the height to reach the ceiling, you go ahead and extend out. And when you just need to uh, carry it up a ladder, do a VES, something like that, it would be nice and compact. So that's how the first idea came about. And then we riffed off that until we now have four tools. Um, so that was kind of the beginning of it. So the, so the first one was the hook was the Pete, the first one I believe is the one that has got the hook and the halogen on it. So that yep. would be the uh, where's the, my paperwork here? The vent. The vent. Yep. the vent. All right. So what what size is it when it's fully closed? So that's just shy of thirty two. It's uh, I think thirty one and a half. So it will still fit. Um, all our tools collapse below thirty two inches, and that's really important because um, when you're talking about um, standard door sizes, um, usually 32 is about the standard for uh, um, any, for sure, any kind of outward swing commercial door. So if you're longer than that, which they make, you know, just solid tools that are 50 inches, 40 inches, the problem with that is if you have any kind of um, structure alongside the door, you're not going to fit that tool in there. Right. Do you I have, have one with you? Out. <laughs> yeah, do you have one there with you? Yeah, um, so just for showing you guys, um, I brought the smaller one here. This is called the worker. 
Um, but all our tools have the ads and the pick. Uh, I just think those are the most dynamic part of the Halligan, you know, for sure uh, a necessary component. But I don't know if you can see, uh, we have this push button mechanism and that allows, uh, that allows the tool to extend out. So I'll just kind of demonstrate that for you guys. But uh, it's a two hand maneuver, but you um, slide with one hand, push the button with the other. Um, you'll notice those grooves cut in there. So that allows you to open how, how, what's the size of that? Um, so we go all the way up to what's 50 the size inch. of that fully opens now, Joe? Yeah, so the vent, our biggest tool goes out to 50 inches, and our smallest tool, um, the loo, goes um, from 18 to 29. You mean my new favorite thing in the whole wide world? Yeah, new favorite. <laughs> That's the loo. I gotta have right? one. That's the loo. But let's talk about that mechanism as compared to we talked about it in, in the pre-show a little bit, and you were talking about you know some of the knocks on some of those extending tools were either where they were pin or they were like how, what you came up with. So explain the difference between the pin and the button. Yeah, that you guys came up and, with. and just as a visual aid, I'm, I'm going to bring up for the audience uh, a military Halligan, and this is you know this is a six hundred dollar Halligan, but you know it's lightweight and all that stuff. But there are some drawbacks to this and we were talking about being pinned you might want to explain that to the uh to the audience joe yeah so basically when i dug into this further i thought i thought i was uh, the most brilliant person in the world but it turns out <laughs> other similar stuff out there but what what we wanted to do was them um bring them to the fire service so a lot of these tools out there were designed for military police all that stuff and it it maybe had some components that were working well for them, but it really wasn't going to hold up to what we do as firefighters. So number one, I had to figure out how to um, get drop forge ends. So this, uh, I'm guessing this, this end you're looking at is a cast. And um, so when you cast, it's just never going to be as strong as drop forging because when you uh, hammer that metal, the strands line up and actually create a very, very, um, strong one solid piece. Um, it also gets the air pockets out of the material. So that was first and foremost. And second, you'll notice that this tool here is a pinned tool, which means um, they actually bore a hole through and um, put a pin in. And uh, that's a really weak point to the tool and eventually a failure point. Um, so what we do is we bore into our heads um, and weld them and our welds will hold up to just about anything so we guarantee those welds so uh, that's we the have extension to, piece is, is bored into the head of the yeah, uh, yeah. i can show you here but here let me uh take this down so people folks can see oh shoot there it is there we go <laughs> the floor is floor is yours joe go ahead so we're bored into this head um i'm sorry just about up to here so um, very, very solid. You, you will not snap the head off of this shaft of, of the tool. And, and likewise, we don't butt weld anything. So this fork is actually into the tool about that far. So uh, very solid, very solid tools. Um, and that was really important because we didn't want to make anything that was uh, just, just going to be a fail point. Um, it's just too important when you're firefighting. And also for uh, police and military, too. So how has it been, you know, obviously forcing doors, if you were saying uh, something earlier, we didn't want to talk too much about it until we got on the show, but as far as fully extended, if you were forcing a door as opposed to nested, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we got a few numbers to throw at you just to kind of give you a sense of the um, ability of these tools. So um, kind of to riff off the Charlie bar, which is the most similar to a standard Halligan. Um, so they talk about mechanical advantage. So a standard Halligan being 30 inches long and the ads of that being two inches. So if you think of the full chrome versus the two inch ads on a lever, you come up to a 15 to one advantage. Meaning if you had the ads in the door and you were to put a hundred pounds down. Of pressure down on that end of the lever, you're going to get 1,500 pounds on the end of that bar. 
Um, so versus if you took our tool, which is a 25 to one with the vent, wow. 23 and a half, we'll just say 24 with the Charlie bar, um, you're now going to get, instead of 1,500 pounds, you're going to 2,400 pounds of pressure on the end of that tool. So it's significant. It's um, it's about 35 to 40% increase when you're talking about um, that tool fully extended. And your edge is, is wider, correct? Uh, so these ads, so um, I think we'll get into uh, our connection with Firehooks Unlimited uh, in a little bit, but the ads itself is the Maximus mod from Firehooks. So people that are familiar with uh, Mr. Farrell's tools will know these these ends. There's no surprise. The forks are are from Firehooks. The ads are from Firehooks. And we wanted to do that because of the, the quality that he makes. So how, it's, it is so harder, how did you though. get introduced to yeah. Uh So, yeah, we got, we got started yeah, with Bob. Uh, it's a good story, actually. Um, I was following Sean Wilson. So Sean Wilson, uh, he owns a company called Rise Above Fire Training. And uh, he put out all these great videos, and I was just eating that up, um, just trying to learn anything I could about forcible entry. And... Um, Later on, I started making these. I, I had the idea in my head. I said, I got to make one. And then uh, pretty soon my brother said, okay, I want one. And some friends were wanting them. And I thought, oh, man, I got I to gotta try and make this happen. So uh, I contacted Sean because this guy, I mean, if I'm a tool nerd, man, this guy is just like the, the epitome of, of tool nerd. So he, he's a super cool dude. He... Uh, he, I called him up. He said, uh, hey, what you got there? I said, can I send you my tools to test? He said, yeah, no problem. So I shipped them over to Michigan. And um, the backstory of that, so he was able to test the tools. He, uh, he initially tested Bob's tools. So when Bob made the Maximus Halligan, he was the first guy to really put his tools to, to the test. His, uh, his first business was called Search and Destroy. And Bob said, here you go. I want you to destroy this halogen. And um, he just loved it. He couldn't destroy that thing. And that's how their relationship got going. And that that was, I guess, my hook to Bob. So, um, I, uh, so Sean sent that over to Bob. And we get on the phone. And it's just great. I don't know if you talked to him on the phone, but he, he just got that jolly voice. And he says, are you a fireman? <laughs> like, yeah yeah i said uh i said i got a tool and i want to use your ends for it bob he said uh he said yeah sean says it's pretty good so i'm i'm good with that and that's how that kind of started and so he he really has a lot of trust in sean which is is pretty cool uh what what was like when, when you were tinkering around with it i know from you know, tinkering and inventing some crap here and there. What what was the first prototype? How'd you make the first prototype? Yeah, so mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually did that. I uh, I had a pro bar, and uh, to the angle grinder it went. So <laughs> ended up chopping that up and made that prototype. The prototype's still kicking. Uh, Is it? Yeah, 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 which was amazing. So my, all my buddies came down from Fairfax, and we we. Uh, had a forceful entry door and we just did everything we could to try and break that thing. And, uh, it's still, still working, but, uh, that's how that started. And I quickly figured out, all right, you can't be chopping up bars. That's yeah. ain't going to work. So it, it really progressed to a point where it's, it's a very nice tool. Now we got, we got it dialed in pretty good. How long you doing it? How long uh, you doing this? So this started in 2016, 2017, um, and just was doing it for fun, really. So I uh, wanted to build one. My brother wanted one, um, and it just snowballed from there. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking to myself, if I don't do this, I'm going to kick myself forever. Uh -huh. So, um, so if, but if I didn't, if I didn't uh, end up working with Bob, this would never have happened. He's been amazing, a mentor, um, and Sean as well. So 
I credit those two guys. All right, so tell Bob to get his ass on the show then. You know, what I'm <laughs> you know speaking I knew that was going to come up. Right? Speaking of people who need to get their asses on the show, there's a question from one Chief Kleehouse in the uh, chat who's asking, how does the price of the basic model compare to the price of a pro bar? Oh, that's a great question. So um, our pricing goes from two ninety nine up to three eighty nine, and depending on the model you want. But uh, so a pro bar is right around two twenty five, so it is more expensive. Um, and the maximus is right around two fifty, I believe. Um, so those are the kind of comparisons. So and and here's the other thing we say. You know, we're not trying to convert anyone from having a, a normal hal again. It's just the best tool out there and if that's your jam that's your jam this is just another option um and we really like it for what it can do to doors just with that extra leverage extra leverage and and much more easily deployable right yeah yeah so the other the other part of this is the mobility aspect of it and that's where our, our smaller tools really come into play um so if you're an officer, if you're on the engine company and you're humping hose, um, uh, all those positions, SWAT teams, military, um, a lot of times hang, hanging on to a big tool kind of weighs you down. Um, so those smaller tools, they start small and then still get out to the size. Uh, for example, our worker goes out to 32 inches. So that's two inches larger than a, a standard Halligan. So, um, just small isn't good and just big isn't good. So we try and do both from each end. Right, right. Show the Lou, Pete. P ah, those. the Lou. It's so beautiful. Hold on. There <laughs> it comes. It is my favorite favorite thing ever. Check that out, man. That is no, bad ace. No. How big is that fully nested? So collapse down, it's 18 and a half, um, which people like because um, they can kind of just tuck right under their feet. Uh, in the front seat or whatnot, and then um, extended out, it's 29 inches, so it's just shy of a just standard. Shy of a standard Halligan. Wow, yep. dude, With, it looks like a gas shut off on the end. You said right? Yeah, there might be a picture on there, uh, Pete, of of it tucked in the waist belt. Just uh, take a look. I'll take a look and see if you there. But, um, yeah, it's very compact and mobile. Nah, that's not uh, it. Up for the Petey. Yep. yep. Oh, I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you can see for size reference, it's very compact. So cool. So a lot of guys like it for that reason. Coops, you want to play? We have a couple videos, right? Yeah. You want to play a few videos just to take a look so we could yeah. see how things work? So uh, what I'll do is I'll bring up the first one that we mentioned, and then you'll just walk us through it, um, uh, Joe. Here it is. And this is the one with two forks here. Here, I'll just go ahead and play. Yeah, so just like any other Halligan, uh, the Axeman's uh, driving him in. So he's probably just about hitting the stop here. He's steering around uh, the door stop. So once he gets it set to the crotch of the tool, um, he's going to go to force. And you'll see, you'll see the resistance he's got. So he's extending out now, and uh, you'll pushing see, the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> I was gonna say, nice. Um, That's awesome. It is uh, on an outward swinging door. So um, now you've never had a bunch of gorillas leaning on that thing to, and and trying and to go bend flying, it, and they never bent. It. They never bent it. Yeah, so it actually has a little bit of flex built into it, and that's so the that the metal doesn't deform and not slide back together. So it's been. Super effective. Um, I guess you know any tool has a limitation, right? So if you if you run it over with the truck or uh, you get eight guys cranking on it, yeah, it's you know it's going to have a fail point. But uh, we've had two firefighters on them. We had a guy; uh, he wasn't shy about saying he's about three hundred fifteen pounds. And a lot of these videos are all online. So if you if you're kind of skeptical about what it can hold up to. Just hopping online, check out our videos. Um, I think you'll be pretty impressed with it. Joe, does that marry up to the axe? The chief uh, clearhouse was asking. Yeah, yeah. So that's a good point too. Um, so we design these tools, like for example, the Charlie bar, which is the extended out um, from the standard Halligan, uh, the size so that it will mate to a regular axe handle. 
And then a lot of guys are carrying short axes now, so like a 28-inch handle. And the problem being is their halogens don't made up to them. So our worker, um, which is the 20 under 24 inches, that makes up perfect with those shorter axes. So we kind of have a little bit of something for everybody. Um, none of these tools are going to do everything. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, you kind of pick and choose what you like. So uh, one of our former alums here, Jim Graham, is in the chat, and he's asking, are any of your products being uh, introduced to the FDNY for R&D? Yeah, so I can't say too much because oh. I wasn't uh, – I did ask about that, but anyway, there's a uh, there's a fella that uh, I won't say what company he's on, but he's he bought the tool and he's using it right now. So, um, really nice guy. I wish I could introduce him by name, but he he asked me not to. So that's fine. But yeah, they're being used from New York out to Washington State. So Do you you approach uh, R and D where where great uh, ideas go to die? Did you try it? <laughs> 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 you got yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I did. <laughs> no. you know? Yeah, you know what the hook is? It's like this. Hey, look, I got this halogen in my hand. What do you got over here? Oh, <laughs> no, no. No, no. Allegedly. Not, Allegedly. Not, Joe, not, have not. you had have you had any issues with the pins at all? With getting uh, dirt or any of that stuff? Uh yeah, so we just say um keep it just clean and lubricated, you know, just spray a little oil on it once in a while, wipe it clean. Um, but the only thing we advise people is um if they're gonna drive the forks, which is a pretty good technique, um we advise to just collapse the tool down. And what, what that does is actually drive all the force into the forks. If you have it extended out, what you're doing is just putting a ton of stress on these pins. So it just takes two seconds, you just collapse it. Strike, strike, strike. When you need the leverage, you extend out, and then you force the door. So anytime you're setting the tool, that's what we recommend. Well, so. let me ask you this. Now, you know firemen, right, Neanderthal. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, for the, the two months that they realize that they don't – you're not supposed to you – know, you're supposed to collapse it, and they <clears throat> use it fully extended. How would how has that handled? Yeah. Um, so if, if that happens, um, what it might do is um, – it can deform the grooves that it's they sit in. And actually what you want to do is you just take a file. Um, so just a regular metal file, square it up. those birds and you just square them off. Right. So we don't recommend it obviously because, um, you know, which we're, you know, in a pinch it would work. I mean, it would, if, yeah, if you, you don't want to do it over time, obviously, but right. Right. Over time you'll cause damage. So we don't recommend it at all. But if you, if, you know, if it did happen, it's not going to be the end of the world. Right. Um, you should be able to get that tool back in service. And we always say, you know, if, if you do have a problem, just contact us, email, phone. Um, we just always want to do the right thing for the firefighters because we're firefighters too. So we're not, we're not out to screw anybody. Um, so just give us a call. And I, mean, we'll I think it's the best. That's the best part of the <clears throat> company is that you're out there doing the work and then you can put the tool into use on a job yeah. And then, you know, then you're your own r and I'm sure that's what you went through, right? It was your process before this even came to fruition, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, I carry that, I carry the tool every day to work, so. I was going to ask you, does, uh, how many guys in Madison have it? Do a lot of guys in uh, Madison? Yeah. The guys have been amazing. I mean, um, so our, our department hasn't officially bought them, um, but some of the guys have just reached in their own pocket. They got uh, personal tools they bought, and they're so supportive. You know, they say, um, you know, what conference are you going to? How's the tool sales going? All that stuff. So it's been really cool. Um, I couldn't really work for a better department. The guys are great. The admin's great. The brothers. Uh, the brothers, yeah, they're two, two brothers behind the business. So, um, yeah, we, it, we've just been – it's been a good start, but we'll see where it goes from here. Have you been to, to Indy with it yet? No, haven't been, but we've been uh, hopping around to different conferences. Uh, we're going to go to Lake Tactics, uh, which is in the Ozarks, Missouri. Uh, it's coming up in July. And we're just going to try and keep bopping around. That's half the fun. We're meeting firefighters from all over the country. 
um, just getting to see people's faces light up when they see, I mean, they're like, what the hell is that? And, you know, I don't know about that. And then they get their hands on it and they, they crush a door with it. And they're like, wow. That's, what, that's cool. what happened to me at the f- past two fire shows. They, they look at me and they go, what the hell is that? <laughs> and they get their hands on me and crush doors. Right. It's right. terrible. I, I forgot. Know. We got not only do we have to take Pete for the firefighter removal, we got to take him to the forcible entry door down there, Ruffy, <sighs> over at Squad. Let him have some fun, man. Give yeah. it to me. Give him, give him a Lou. I'll only go if I have loo. my Lou with me, so I can train as I fight. Yeah, Joe, you don't know what to ask you too. I was looking at when the guy was forcing the door. That's a really smooth handle, right? You know, yeah. it's. I mean, at least the, the Halligan is kind of like a. I don't even know. It's like an octagon style. Hexagon. Yeah, I know octagon. what you're saying. Yeah. But that's kind of round and smooth. Do, do, do guys tape it up? Are they? Uh, is it slippery? Um, you know, obviously oil would be an issue there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't like to have mine wrapped, but a lot of guys have gone and wrapped them. Or um, there's a lot of good uh, products out there now that are almost like a casting material. Mm-hmm. Um, they just hold up better than tape. So uh, we've had a few guys that have, that have done that to their own tools and sent us some pictures. They're pretty cool looking actually, but um, yeah, totally perfect personal preference. Some guys do, some guys don't. Um, but uh, a lot of, a lot of um, people are ordering with personal engraving on them. So uh, they kind of want to show them off. And don't show, that, Pete. show the picture. We have a picture of some of the, yeah, for sure. I do. I do. Uh, let me just remove the, Ruffy, we used to tape ours up like stick ball bats. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> With the th- you used to roll the tape first, tape yep. that around. And Hot, then hockey tape is great, right? For something that like that, too. Con Ed tape. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to get it for free. <laughs> well, so allegedly. allegedly. Look, at, look at that. Isn't that cool, man? Check that out. You can that have is it all, really cool. You yeah. can have it all yeah. engraved and everything. This is a great shot. I mean, you know, that's that's the best right there. Um, you What's know, the actually. Oh, the too. Beautiful. Look at that. What is that? Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. What is that? What's going on? Beautiful. This is beautiful. What is that? Joe, where, where are they made, Joe? Got a couple guys asked where they were made. Yeah, so we do all the assembly in Wisconsin. So we have our welders in Wisconsin, powder coat, um, and the engraving. All that is within an hour of me. So <clears throat> on my days off, I get in the van and just drive tools around. So, so I got a question coming in shit hot from the chat, as the kids say. <laughs> it's from uh, our own Hank, a.k.a. Frank Molay. Oh. Uh, and this is, uh, <laughs> have you ever forced, have you ever forced, uh, uh let's see. Uh, have you, you ever forced window bars? For, and yeah, exactly. A police lock, Fox lock or metal drop bars with it. How's it hold up against that? Yeah. So, um, I think it's really perfect for window bars. Cause you think about it, you, you have all this reach now that you didn't have before. Um, but at the same time, you're going to get that ads in behind um, better than you are a New York hook or something like that just because of the shape of it. So you can reach up, you know, you get those bars that are above you, try and defeat the um, between the mortar or, you know, however those are set in and get some good prying ability from it. Um, as far as like heavy duty locks, I mean, this is going to give you 30% more or 40% more ability. Oh, yeah. So um, whatever you're going after, whether it's security doors, um, locking mechanisms, anything like that, it's just going to give you more leverage. It's like a halogen on juice. And one guy is asking <laughs> if you can do the loo with forks or does it only have the gas shut off on the loo? And I, I think personally, I'm I'm just gonna I'm not I'm not gonna answer for you, but wouldn't that defeat the purpose of the loo to get the forks on there, right? Well, I guess uh, the worker would be what they're looking for. It's still really compact. It's under mm-hmm. 24 inches, mm-hmm. um, but and then that extends out to 32. Uh, but it has the forks, still has the ads. It's just it would be a it would be a smaller halogen, but. It, it, it does it extend up to a regular size house. Yep. Ruffy, that's right. got you written all over. That was oh, my size true. of mine. That's the one I had. Yeah, yeah. not that. But so you, had a, you had a little baby house. I did. Right. <laughs> nice. And let's see. And uh, I know get, I'm getting you for your birthday. You get actually. I had a ch- I had a question. We, we there's a wedge that you guys have, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's uh, talk about this wedge. Let me, let me pull up a shot here, and then. Uh, these are the wedges, and then I'll put you up there as well. So uh, let us know what these are. 
Yeah, so we uh, designed an aluminum wedge, um, and that's that's nothing new to the fire service. But um, what, what our little thing is, is we created a fulcrum off of it. So um, you'll see this groove cut in here. Um, and the benefit of that is when you're uh, when you're prying off of it, it becomes an ability to extend your your ads basically. So you go from a two inch spread on the door up to a three inch spread, and uh, there is a video that maybe explains a little better, Pete. For sure. Oops. And let me take a look here. And this is what the video that was down, or where is this one? The two FF yeah, outward. Yeah. Um, so it's gonna be under uh, the ads wedge. It'll be down a little ways. Roger that. Stand by. Coming up. Um, yeah, that is really so cool ads, as well. Ads wedge inward. Um, uh, ads wedge inward. Here we go. There. Yep. 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 So you just give us a little rundown here. So, uh, so they're going to go ahead and set the ads in just like they would. Um, and, uh, so they get, they get some gap out of the door. Um, but the locking yet. so he's going to set that wedge in there for his partner. And now that becomes a fulcrum. Oh, so in two inches, he just spread the door three inches. Like they used to slide the flat part of the axe in there to use the same. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the idea. Um, it just sits nice in that groove so it doesn't kick out. Right. Um, otherwise, if, can if that used. happened too fast for our audience, I'm going to play the video one more time because it was pretty, it was pretty speedy even for me to notice. So that there he is making the making the space. Yep. So he's capturing it with the axe, and then he's come back back in with the ads against the stop. Oh, so the ad sits right in that little groove, is what you're saying? Yep. It slides right in there. And then uh, obviously it can be used just like any other aluminum wedge. Oh, shit. Talk about well, that's it. we we uh, have is um, this front edge is more substantial, um, so a lot of the a lot of the wedges out there will just they'll just bend over. Um, so this is a pretty beefy wedge, and it's a full six inch wedge. So um, we just developed it over time, is um, making that fulcrum for the ads, and then um, just kind of beefing up that front edge. And the holes? What do you do with the holes? So the holes, um, <laughs> you can carry that right on your halogen. So um, it's got a one-inch hole, and then um, we like to put these little bungees through, and you can just secure it right to your halogen. That's so cool. So I, I also heard that allegedly, allegedly these wedges have some superpowers with uh, certain types of uh, beverages. Beverages. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I <laughs> look into that here, but that's how that's like that. <laughs> if you do get thirsty, you just uh, we have a oh, bottle open. Oh, you can just break the bottle open with the wedge. Hey! Oh, <laughs> Mazel tov! Salute! Mazel tov! Beautiful! Beautiful! God bless! Now that... Tough. That's like the that. wave right there. I love that, man. Oh man, you guys didn't you, you haven't skipped a beat. What is that? Is that egg? My wife can kill me now because I just got beer all over. Oh, you're <laughs> Could have been Stick. worse. Could have yeah, been worse. Exploded all over you. <laughs> is that aircraft grade aluminum that you use on that? So this is sixty sixty one, um, uh -huh. and it's made to deform slightly. So that's what gives you that real nice grab in the door. Mm. Um, so if it if it was uh, steel or something else, it's just really not gonna hold its place. Right. So how much is that? Well, I was just gonna say, what are those retail for? Yeah. So the ads wedge, this goes for twenty eight, and uh, oh, comes a steel, with, a steel. I tell you what, dude, you better not forget it in the door when you get there. You know what I mean? Oh, it'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Son of yeah. a beat. Nobody's gonna come walking out and say, oh, "Hey, buddy, you left this in there." <laughs> you, gotta get in the rig, you know? Oh, we did hey, see the rig. Got it back up. They're engraved. <coughs> wait, wait, can, the wedges can be engraved too. Then is what yeah, we're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, well then there you go. So now anyone wants to be funny. Yeah, they they yeah Chief Cleha said that was the money <laughs> shot right there. Boop, money <laughs> shot. <laughs> so That's don't we great. have a we have a special offer for salty the leather? Oh, there you go. You put your engrave your initials. Guys can't steal it. 
Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. quick question about that, by the way. Does that work well in all kinds of like if it's a metal frame or, uh, you know, it doesn't does it matter? No, uh, it really doesn't matter. It's going to work in both. Um, so metal frame, it's kind of in a uh, it'll deform the metal. And the wood will just – sometimes it just even splits a little bit. But um, either way, it just kind of digs in there. And it, it allows you to capture your progress and then get your axe back out or, or your ads or whatever you're going to do. So it just allows you to make that next move by keeping your spot. Nice, man. So cool. And, yeah, we did have a promo code for everybody because already – you All these animals are asking how, where you can buy it, where they can buy yeah, it. So yeah. First, so, put up the uh, website, Pete, where they well, can buy it. So first and foremost, I've been putting it up. Uh, hold, I know, hold on one second. <laughs> With well, the I've, firing, bro. <laughs> I know, I know. You can. Oh! I'm, I'm not going to let it slide. I'm not going to let it ticker so these guys can try to read. It's uh, www.sidecharlietools.com. That's www.sidecharlietools.com. Dot com if you're listening and guys if you use the promo code getting with no g at the end get in salty you, they will get how much off joe uh it's a 10 percent discount on Love. <laughs> order tools wise um we do sell apparel like this this hat we got richard whoa, whoa, joe joe slow it down Easy. Now, now he that's wants to sell apparel. Insulting him a little bit. Insulting him a little I'm bit. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. No, you, you have apparel that's cool, man. You, <laughs> yeah, you have an awesome logo. Hey, Louie, you know, uh, cool uh, did like we just come up with a, a Hollywood <laughs> sell on to get insulted <laughs> called uh, side, side, yeah. side tool Willie? We're putting on the. <laughs> Oh, nice hat, kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got. We have our own Allegan called the Lewis. Yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Side Willie custom fire tools. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, no, seriously. Uh, I have to say, like, one of the coolest aspects of firefighting, at least from my point of view, is uh, is breaching. And uh, if I was out there doing it, I love the tools, man. I am going to have to get a Lou from you. That thing is amazing. And uh, guys who are listening or watching, please head on over to SideCharlieTools.com and uh, use the promo code getting salty for 10% off. Uh, anything on the site? Is that site-wide? Um, so it's just the tools, but... Um... Okay. But uh, if you're interested in apparel, that's up there too. Be the first guy on your block to have one, bro. Are you kidding oh, me? Joe, what's cool. the what's the wait time on the Halligan? Is it is it ready to go? Oh. Weeks? How does that work? So we have everything in stock right now. Um, so if you order, uh, it's going to get sent out within a week. Um, at times, we've had some trouble actually with uh, with uh, COVID, but we've been able to keep everything in stock right now. So that's that's the goal. Um, that's what I work towards is just kind of keeping the inventory. I can't promise anything down the road, but right now we're all loaded up. So if, if you order a Halligan tonight, it's probably going to ship out later this week. And if they want it, if they want it engraved. Yeah. Engraving, we try and do it as quick as possible. It usually adds maybe a week on to your time. Yeah. yeah that's what we do. The same so, thing. But I'd say 90 <laughs> 95% of people end up getting their stuff engraved. Uh, it's worth it, man. It looks yeah, it looks yeah. smart. And, you know, from some asshole walking away with it, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You so if they have, if they have any other questions, more. they could email you. Or there's other stuff on the website that they could find. Uh, is there a FAQ page yep. and all that stuff there? Yep. We also got Instagram. So at uh, Tools, Facebook. Um, but, yeah, just reach out by email. I love, you know, if people got questions, I'll try and get back to them as soon as possible. Uh, we have a phone number too if you need to call. So, oh, snap a slip. It's in the, he says, We miss you here in Fairfax. Snap uh, it. Hey, yeah. hey, the snap a slip. Scott, I told That's you. A tough I name to go by. No? And I just yeah. wanted to, uh, to make it like more than abundantly clear. Uh, hold on a second here that there are indeed. You know, more than one. It's not just the Lou. It's the worker. It's the vent. It's the uh, the old school Charlie. The uh, and right and uh, all yeah. these different variety here. So, yeah, man. Like one guy in the chat asked if the Lou had forks. Well, it sort of does. It's only called the worker, and then you can only step it up from there. So, guys, make sure to check out all the different ones there, 
um, you know, for your needs. These are great, man. Really I got to cool. say real quick, um, we got some cool stuff coming up. Uh, we're going to be doing some, um, some things with Iron Fox Tool Company. So I don't know if you're familiar with the axes, but um, they make a really, really great axe. And so just keep a lookout for that. So there's some cool things coming. I yeah, like that. He's got stuff to keep moving, moving, kid. You can't yeah, be resting like on it. your laurels. You got to yeah. keep moving. Yeah, yeah. You got to you got to hit all the trade shows, dude. That would be the that, that would be the wave right yeah, there. Let, let people force a door on site. You know, like if that's no, you got to do, bud. You got to. Somebody you said I would have named the smallest tool the Coobs. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's Stop not it. bad. That's not bad. I like it. You gotta just come to like India, walk around with one in your hand. Maybe not get a booth first. Get some cards right. and that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm serious too. And you walk around. Guys do that a lot, Joe. Actually, yeah, they do. The guys have a, an interesting tool or something. They don't want to get a booth. They walk around. There's this thing in the hand. And before you know it, they got about eighteen thousand guys around them. Bring your so, tool. I might get arrested. I gotta say, I, I was uh, I was putting one in my trunk to uh, today, and the guy goes, he was all scared. He goes, Oh, I thought you were gonna rob the place. What? So, you have a mask on. Did you that tell him mind his own business? Mind your own bit. Didn't I tell you what this was? Right. Don't mind your business. Then must yeah. be on your business. Yeah, so. having a nice cup of you know what. <laughs> Shut, <the fuck> up. <laughs> Shut your hole. Okay. Yeah. So we'll uh, what? Uh, hold on one second. Where was my my notes right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Stand by. Joe, was there anything we missed that you wanted to add? No, uh, I just want to thank uh, the people that have supported us along the way. Sean, Bob. And then uh, all the guys in Fairfax and, and Madison Fire, they just gone out of their way to support uh, support the company. Uh, they bought personal tools. They bought hats and shirts and all that stuff. So the brotherhood is alive and well. They yeah. really are. Yep. I'm just I'm happy for you, bro. I think it's going to do well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank we'll you be coming out with the uh, the salty dog wedge. We'll be coming out next week. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ours will have an actual bottle opener. Yeah, we'll have a bottle opener. That's all we have is drinking paraphernalia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, you guys in the chat have any questions for my man Joe here? Yeah, shoot him now. Shoot him now or forever. Uh, like a typical Canadian, Darren Phillips is asking, is there a free hat with every tool order? Oh, free hat. Oh, I knew the word free was going to be thrown in there somewhere, yeah. bro. Yeah, we'll work on that. We'll work on it. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, only nice. a few, Darren. Write your name in there. They'll, they'll give you a hat. Yeah. Yeah. I need to talk to my uh, Canadian friends about shipping out to you guys. So if uh, if anybody is from Canada or Mexico, just email us. I haven't uh, figured out the international shipping yet, but um, that doesn't mean we don't want to sell yeah. it again. So. Joe will meet you at the border with it in his hand. So just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 like oh, she <laughs> rock. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. That's it. Um, you're going to hang with us. Uh, you're going to hang with us, Joe, uh, just uh, so we could say goodnight to you off air. And uh, what do you want to tell him, Coops? You got any news? Uh, yeah. Go buy this tool. You see, I, <laughs> go buy the tool. I took his head. I pushed it up again. And you buy this tool. <laughs> you Joe, buy this tool. Joe needs cash. Throw it out there. Cash. Uh, nope. We're going to be doing a, what, a cup of Joe tomorrow. We got some cool videos. Well, a cup of Joe's coming out Wednesday morning. We're filming tomorrow. Right. Thursday and night, we, there's no, no sh show. Pete no show. Off. But uh, that's uh, but, but that will be replaced with uh, some shenanigans from Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. yeah, Monday of show. next week, again, before someone asks, Monday, there is no show. That will be replaced with more shenanigans from the Long Island show. And then we're back again the following Thursday with a guest. It's so the that's, summer. I mean, that's what it is. It's the summer. That's what happens. Yep. Well, yeah, unfortunately, uh, well, not unfortunately. We're going on a nice little vacay. So Yeah, uh, you got to do what are we going to do? I'm going to live yep. in the woods. I'm going to live in the woods in Ithaca for a few days. You know what I'm saying? Good, good for you. Bring bring the Lou with you, just in case you run into trouble. You know what? I want to bring the Lou, but I don't have one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't crap up. Don't crap up. You're going to get your name engraved on one. All right, man. If you could do that, then that's it. I'm in. I'm all in. Sounds good. All right. All right. I got nothing. That's it. Thanks for coming on, Joe. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much. Love, I love it. Great tools, man. You got great tools, Joe. Tell, uh, <laughs> tell Bob, you know, to give it a little second thought. We oh, oh, thought. Bob, Bob wanted me to. Bob wanted me to ask you guys a question. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! 
wanted to know if you guys still get nosebleeds above the third floor. Oh, uh, oh, nosebleeds above the third floor. Yeah. Oh, said maybe he'll give you the fourth floor. <laughs> nosebleeds yeah. above the third well, floor. Well, he's probably uh, in like Brooklyn. It was only two story jobs or something like that. So. Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, nope. Go so listen, he wants to, he, he's writing a book, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. So um Bob's writing a book. Um it's gonna be called The Warrior. No, don't tell you what it is yet. He wants to sell some books, he's gotta come on the show, yeah, yeah. Bob. Yeah. And he's only got Bob? a typewriter, so it might be hard to get him on. I heard going. Bob's also coming out with a wedge called the Bob Wedge. Yes. Uh, <laughs> got a wedge. Bob's got a really nice wedge. So he calls it the wedgie. The wedgie. <laughs> All right, man. All right, Bob. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> Guck in the chat is saying that I'm afraid to get yelled at in a hotel hallway. That's why. Uh, that's why we're putting up the video for Saturday night. Yeah. yeah. Friday, Patty, so Patty for Thursday night. Push for three floors and cut. That's it. Yeah, that's it. All, <laughs> All right. right, boys. All right, guys. We'll see you. Uh, oh, we won't be back again live until when? Next Thursday. A week, a week from this a week Thursday. Week from Thursday. I'll miss what? you. I'll really miss you. We'll pull, we'll throw some shit on this some content. Oh, there'll be some stuff all all yep. up this week. It'll all right. be great. All right, boys. That's it. Stay low and go. All right, we'll see you at the big one, everybody. Take care. Cheers, brothers.